Hey y'all, it's Kaya Renee here and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I just want to say welcome. Come on in, okay? I got some space for you right here, okay? This is a place where I do my hair, a little bit of beauty. I basically just pull myself together, okay? And I would love to take you on these journeys with me. So in order for you to go on these journeys, you got to subscribe, okay? And for those that are already my family, y'all already know the type of journeys and things we're getting into with this hair, okay, honey? All right? So today I'm gonna show you guys how I did this flat twist, two strand twist, bun thing I got going on here. If you wanna see how I did it, be sure to stay tuned. All right, y'all, so we are back and I am styling my hair today, but this day, unlike most days, I actually have a plan, okay? I kinda already know what I wanna do to my hair this time. So, <laughs> that should be great, right? That actually came with a plan. But my hair is freshly washed, deep conditioned, detangled. Right now, all I have in here is just my leave-in conditioner. And so we are ready to style, layer our products, and get into it, okay? Uh, so we just gonna start off with like a front to back type of deal. Let me split the hair. All right, y'all, so I'm just gonna, gonna go ahead and part this hair, like I said, get that little front to back action going and separate this hair on out. And y'all, as I always say, section off this hair, okay? Like, the more sections, the better. Like, to me, having my hair sectioned off and having everything out the way just makes my entire styling process better. It's kind of like, you know, it's kind of time intensive to do all the sectioning and everything up front. But I'm telling you, it pays off on the back end when, you know, you don't have all this extra work to do in the middle of your style. And you can just, you know, do your thing. You see me here, like I said, just refining the parts, okay? Making sure everything is just nice and neat. All right, so now that I have everything kind of sectioned off the way I want to, I will go in and kind of refine these parts in the front to make sure they match, you know, smoothly on both sides. And right here, yep, those lines are straight. Everything is ready. We about to get into this style, honey. And that's the back of my hair. You see the front and back? That's how much I got going on in the back. All right, so I'm gonna give myself a little side part here, okay? Yeah, nice little side part. Have some things going on right here. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I finally got my section solidified, what I wanna do. Go ahead and really get this out of my way until I'm ready to work with it. But now I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with this side in relation to this side. Cause I'm thinking it's like some twist down the back, you know what I mean, something like that. But now I have to kind of figure out what to do with this. So we'll see. So you see me here getting ready to establish that first flat twist, okay? Getting that first flat twist, the foundation of the style, getting it all set and ready to go, okay? And I part it from the front of my head down to the nape of my neck. All right, it's time to get these products going. First, I start off with some water because my hair was a bone dry, okay? It was dry, dry. Then I went in with my favorite curl activator cream and just to get these curls popping in and add some moisture to my hair before we get started, okay? Then I went in with my detangler brush. You gotta make sure the hairs are detangled before you start twisting. Rule, cardinal rule. Then I went in with my olive oil just to seal in all the moisture, everything I just added to my hair to make sure my hair is gonna stay nice and moisturized while I have this protective style in. Then I went in with some shining jam because guys, we are out for the sleekness, we are out for the shine, okay? You see me putting it directly on the root. That's why I want to be nice and sleek and nice and shiny, okay? The root of the hair, okay? Then I followed up with my fave styling foam because that just makes all the twists better. That just makes everything better. Let's the hair just glide upon itself, okay? And now I'm gonna go ahead and get started on with this flat twist, start at the very tip, tip, tip top of my hair, you know, getting those edges, but don't snatch them, okay? Just get them so everything can be nice and in there and in control, okay? And I went ahead and just flat twisted my hair. And as you can see, I'm taking a lot of care and attention to get all the hairs, okay? Making sure that there is no hair left behind. Not a one, not a one piece left behind. You see it coming together. And 
I went ahead and just flat twisted all the way down to the nape of my neck. Now back to that cardinal rule, make sure your head's detangled before you go in for your twist, okay? So you see me here doing my little two strand twist just to finish off this flat twist. And now we're about to start on that second flat twist, honey. Did the same exact process, laid the same exact product, just doing the same thing over and over again, all right? And boom, second flat twist done. Twist it all the way down to that very end. Cord that hair around my finger just to get that curl at the end popping. And when I tell y'all like I love twists, like twists, flat twists, two strand twists, they are my favorite protective style. Like they are so easy to do. They're very gentle on the hair and like they look all tight and crisp when they're not even tight at all, you know? I just love how like with flat twists, I can create a nice, sleek, clean look without having the excessive tension that you may get with like cornrows or something like that. And the way that I keep my twist so sleek and so shiny and smooth, as like I'm twisting the hair, I kind of glide my fingers down it just to make sure the hairs stay in place and nothing is just looking crazy you just kind of smooth it on down as you're going and it keeps everything looking all nice and shiny at least it works for me every time so you should try it and let me know how it works for you and there we are with three out of i don't know how many i'm gonna do <laughs> so let's keep going all right y'all so we got the side of our hair done now it's time to get down to the back so with the back part I just parted straight down the back and did those flat twists. Just simple, made it simple. Now, if you're enjoying this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I drop a new video, okay? I drop hot fire styles every week, so come back and see me, okay? All right, y'all, so we on finally this last twist, okay? Get this styling foam in place, honey. You see all my twists from coming over here, straight down, and the last finale. All right, y'all, so we're gonna do this final, the final flat twist. All right, y'all, so this is where we are right now with these twists, yes. And see, this was the longest part of the style. This took the longest. And as the hair continues to dry, the twists will dry up to about the same length. So we're gonna go ahead and tackle, you know, this front part of the hair and get this done, okay? And this front part, I think we're gonna do some two strand twists. All right, y'all, so I did the same thing with the, the two strand twists in the front, gotta moisten my hair, and then I layered the same exact products in it, okay? So what you see me doing here is just parting the hair and getting those two strand twists ready, all right? And here's the first two strand twists. All right, y'all, we're on the last twist now. Finally made it. All right, y'all, y'all see me here just finishing off with that final two-strand twist, okay? So we got all the front part done. Got my two-strand twist in there. And so what I'm gonna do now is just let my hair air dry and make sure everything is nice and dry before I continue with the style. All right, y'all, we are back. So my hair is has air dried. Everything is up at the same length, feeling all nice, soft, and you know, just lovely. Okay, so what I did to these twists here, since my hair is very long, it's literally all one length. I sometimes like to use rollers when I'm trying to create like a side swoop or something like that, just to give my hair some dimension since I'm not trying to cut it, okay? So what you can see what I did with my foam rollers is, you know, I did, I did the front twist a little bit shorter, and then I came down a little bit longer with the foam rollers, okay? 
So now what we're gonna do to the back of this hair here, we're gonna just pin it up into a bun. I'm gonna attempt to pin it up. So get all my clips. Okay, so to create the bun, what you see me doing here is basically taking the flat twists and laying them on top of each other. So I took about two or three flat twists from the, I went from the inside to the outside and I'm just laying them right on top of each other just so I can create like a bow braid looking type of deal. And basically just to bring all the hair together. And you see me here just trying to make sure I'm picking up flat twists that haven't been crossed over yet. And then when you get down to the ends, you kind of braid them up a little bit. Just bring the hairs back across and just keep doing that until you get down to the very end. And then after you get to the very ends, you can tuck it under and pin it. Just as simple as that. And so I gather all the ends together. And I'm gonna take a bob pin. And make sure everything is together. Right at the, at the nape of my neck. So I'm putting these bob pins right at the nape of my neck. I only have two in here so far. All right, so we got everything pinned up and out the way. So let's go ahead and take everything down and give y'all, you know, the final reveal. Are y'all ready? Y'all see me. Mm-hmm, y'all see that. Y'all see this two strand twist, flat twist pin up thing I got going on here. Look at your girl. Do you see that bun? How cute. Yes, ma'am. You did that, Nakaya. You did that. You did it, Kaya. You did that. Y'all, do y'all see this? Do y'all see it? <laughs> I surprised myself. You know, every time I sit down and do my hair, I be like, okay, let's do it, fingers. Let's do it. They always surprise me. These fingers always surprise the heck out of me. Do y'all see the transition here? Y'all remember how long those twists were? With a little sponge roller. Look what you can do with a sponge roller. Okay. Oh, yes. And look how neat. My hair is all put away, especially in the back. The ends are nice and protected. My hair won't catch on anything. Like my clothes, it's just... Yes, this is what I was going for. This is what I had in my mind. And I'm so thankful that I was able to, you know, get it working on top of my head. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like it. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think, okay? If you have any other hairstyle ideas you want to see, any mashups, anything like that, leave it down in those comments section below, okay? And before you go, before you go, go ahead and join the family. Come on in and join my family, okay? And subscribe to my channel. And until next time, see you later. Hey, before you go, don't forget to like this video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel.